Hello everyone, Manithrall here. Welcome back to another quest guide. This time we are going to be doing Tears of Gothics. A very important quest that you want to do as soon as possible, but you do need 44 quest points in order to do this quest. So keep that in mind. Also, once you do it, if you want to keep getting the benefits of the quest every week, you have to keep up with either XP or doing quests in general. <clears throat> Now there is a few items you do need. Uh, you will need a rope if you have not done this yet. Uh, also it is a good idea to have a spiny helm with you. And you will be needing a lantern. What are the actually completely concealed in ones. Which from there you'll need to cut a sapphire and actually put the sapphire in it. There is a reason for that during the quest. But in order to do the quest to even get started you have to get into the dungeon <clears throat> and this is why the spiny helmet is important because the wall beast will attack you and they will do some damage I mean it's not you know gonna one shot you or anything like that but it'll do some damage if you don't have it otherwise you are completely safe if you have it on okay now, I might one-shot you if you're very low level, but odds are, are pretty slim. Okay, so you want to go to the southeastmost point of the dungeon. You do need to be able to jump over and get in. But once you're over, you can enter the tunnel. And now you're in the right area. And the reason why this quest is so important is because you get free XP every week for doing this quest. Uh, obviously the higher the level you are the better. Uh, you can make a better bowl eventually but all in all this is where you need to go to even get it started. <clears throat> and you just say okay you tell some stories She'll let you into the cave. And of course, the green ones are the bad tears. And the uh, blue ones are the good tears. But now she's saying you'll need a bowl in order to get in and collect the tears. <coughs> Sorry about that, throat's a little dry. So that means you need to come up here. This is where the lantern comes in hand. <clears throat> you have to use a lantern on it, not extinguish it, but use it on it. And then the light creature will take you across the chasm here. Which, eventually, there's another quest that'll take you down into the chasm. But that's for something else at a different time. Now, here, we are looking just to get regular rocks here. To make the initial bowl eventually you'll be able to make an even better one you want to craft up the magic stone now you got the stone bowl and now you can use this to go and use this also it is worth noting that this uh, weekly distraction and diversion or D&D as they call it uh, the more quest points you have, the longer the duration you have to stay in. So it might not be a whole lot of a change per quest, but once you start getting all the quests done, it makes a huge difference. So do have uh, the majority of the quests done as you possibly can every single time you go to use it. You know, Try to keep up to date with your quests, it'll really help you out in the long run. Okay, you have a bowl. She says she'll hold it for you. And now you can do it as often as you, well. Now you can just right click, tell a story, and I'll show you at level 80 you can craft a better one. Okay, to tell her a story again. Okay. She will let you in. The blue ones are the good ones. The green ones are the bad ones, again. Now, I really shouldn't have done this yet because I do plan on doing more quests, but 
with a tick. This can be annoying and with lag it can be bad too. Uh, but as you can see my time's already about halfway done and I haven't even really been in here long. But that's because I only have like 46 quest points so I don't really have that much going for me right now. So I'm not going to be getting a lot of uh, points yet. But I wanted to show you how that works since it is technically part of the quest. And you do get a hefty chunk of XP, that's why I say you do want to do it as soon as possible. It'll really help you with your lower level skills. For me it's like stuff like herbal or summoning, stuff that's kind of hard to raise. So that'll do it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys.